beast approaches. Oh, I know. What anger this creature must have. How did it even survive these years? I'm not going to let this happen again. It dies today! My sword is lighter. It's not the blade, but the skill of the user. Strike it down!
Stay alive. Stay alive, Grandma. Kaine, you gotta live. You gotta come back to us. I should apologize to Kaine and Emil, but what good would that even do? I got a fire going. Wait. Today. Is that good? I'm so happy to get to talk to you again, Kaine. Yeah, me too. I tried everything I could think of to save you, you know. I polished you with a special cloth. I poured warm water over you. I... Wait, you poured water on me? <laughs> yeah, but it didn't really do much except make you all shiny. <laughs> hey, Emil. Thanks for saving me. I guess you noticed how I look... different now. I'm sorry, Emil. I'm sorry for all of it. Well, I mean, this new form isn't all bad, you know? At least I can look at you when we talk, right? Hey, so... why don't you tell me something about yourself? I'm not very interesting. Sorry. Come on. I just want to know you better. Please? Fine. This all happened when I was a kid, before the whole shade possession thing. My body is... different. And when the villagers found out about it, they started treating me like a freak. But one person, my grandmother, accepted me just as I was. No matter how bad things got, she gave me the strength to keep going. She's really special to you, huh? Yeah. Oh, hey! That gives me an idea. Since we cured your petrification, we should start looking for a way to cure your possession and my body. I know we can do it if we all work together. Heck, it'll probably be super easy. Let me guess. More warm water? Okay. Can we just forget I told you about that? <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Of machinery here. Yeah, but I don't know how much we can actually use. Oh, wow. Check this out. It looks brand new. Hey, be careful, all right? This place is dangerous. Uh, I'll be fine. Oh, no. Huh? Look out! of the intruders caused the structure to fail. They should have proceeded with more caution. One intruder has perished. You have taught me much, Khalil. 
You have helped to expand my vocabulary. You have instructed me in the ways of the outside world. <laughs> You know, I've been thinking, why was a shade hanging out with a machine? It appeared the creature was actually issuing orders to that mechanical minion. Do you think the Shade had a reason for what it did? Actually... Look, it doesn't matter what a Shade is or isn't thinking. All that matters is that we kill every last one of them. Right. Sure. The idea of a Shade trying to protect a robot is goddamn absurd. Still, you guys should be careful. What do you mean? If the Shade inside me ever takes over, I'm probably going to attack you. That's not gonna happen. You are no shade. The lad is correct. You are many things, hussy, but a shade is not one of them. Shades, for example, do not come equipped with such foul and scurrilous mouths. How about I cram your face up your own asshole, book? Don't worry, Kaine. If your shade ever takes over, I'll stop you. You will, will you?
I don't think I've ever seen fog this thick before. Huh? What's that? to believe a ship of this size managed to run aground. Hmm, what was that? Hey, is someone there? Okay, I definitely heard someone cough just now. Maybe it's one of those kids from town? But where are they? There you are. What are you doing here, kid? And who are you, anyway? Were you a passenger on this ship, maybe? Hey, it's okay. You don't need to be scared. Hey there, how are you feeling? Um. Well, your cough seems better at least. Check it out, I brought you some bread today. Huh. 
Oh, easy there. Jeez, you must have been starving. Well, look, no one's gonna take this from you, so just take it easy so you don't choke on it, okay? So, what were you doing on this boat, kid? Actually, scratch that. First things first. I can't just keep calling you kid. You got a name? Well, this is going nowhere fast. Let's see. Hmm. Louise. Yeah, what about Louise? I mean, it just sort of popped into my head, but what do you think? <laughs> Guess you're okay with it. Well, it's nice to meet you, Louise. Hey there, Louise. Say, where'd you get that red bag? Hmm? Found it on the ship, did you? <laughs> you kids are so darn curious about everything. Anywho, it's good to see you. Afraid I don't have any bread today, but I did bring you some. Here, it's a ribbon. Let me tie it in your hair for you. Well, what do you think? Pretty nice, huh? Huh, what's that on the floor? Oh, it's a mirror. Well, that's a stroke of luck. But let's go ahead and check out your new look. If you go over there where it's brighter, you'll be able to see yourself more clearly. Uh, what's wrong? Don't you want to see? Oh, I see. You don't like sunlight. Guess your eyes are pretty sensitive after spending all this time in the dark, huh? Uh. Well, it's not like we can have you stay here forever. We should work on getting you out of here so you and me can go look at the sea together. Hey, Louise. I brought your food for today. What's wrong? Aren't you hungry? Huh. You haven't been eating much lately. Are you okay? <clears throat> well then, let's try this. Yeah, sorry about that. It's called a song. Humming a jaunty tune is the best thing for putting a spring in your step. Songs are like a little bit of wisdom that makes the tough times easier. I love them personally. I mean, not that I'm any good at singing. Whoa, your voice is a bit rough there, but you're actually pretty good. You know, I knew someone who lived in the town lighthouse before she died. She used to hum this same song a lot. I heard it every time I stopped by to deliver something, and I guess it just kind of stuck. Of course, that was quite a while ago. <laughs> hey, are, are you trying to cheer me up? <laughs> you are a kind soul, Louise. I'm sensing some really weird magic going on here, Sunshine. You feeling it too? Yeah. Is it... a shade? <laughs> Are you actually trying to think something through rather than just jumping in and killing? What's wrong, Kaine? Nothing. It's just... I'm sensing a presence from Seafront. Something like a shade. A shade in the town? That's not good.
So, were you able to write that letter? You know, now that I've taught you how. Not yet, huh? Well, there's certainly no reason to rush. <laughs> you know, it makes me happy that you've taken such a shine to me. First time we met, I didn't have the foggiest idea what was going on in that head of yours. <laughs> so, hey, I've been thinking. <laughs> how about you come live with me? It might be kind of nice to have a daughter around. Not into it, huh? Guess I should have figured. I'm sad to hear it, but it's your choice, of course. Huh? The floor's wet. Wait, is this... blood? Oh dear, are you... What are you doing? You're gonna get yourself killed! How's this, Sunshine? A letter. That thing wrote it for the postman. Ha! Man, that is some grade-A chicken scratch! She probably copied the letters as best she could. So, what's it say? I think our friend's gonna wake up soon. Let's go.
Let's go. Yeah.
brother. Yoda. someone else's body. I don't want it. There's another girl inside this body. I can hear her. She won't stop crying. She says she wants to see her brother. You're just being possessed? This girl loves her brother too, just as much as I do. It's not right, you know? It's not right that she can't see him. Shade that possessed her is gone. idiot has decided to push me beyond my limits. I should have taken that job as a cookbook when I had the chance. Vice, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Only joking. I hate cookbooks. But let's go out of the way. I have one final task to fulfill. Where are you going? Why, to stop him, of course. But after that, it's up to you. Only you can see this battle to its conclusion. I wish you luck, my friend. You can't. I swore I'd always fight by your side. You are an exceedingly stubborn lad. You know that, yes? Perhaps that's why I've so enjoyed our time together. But I fear this is where our journey ends. Vice! Oh, and remember what I told you about using my full name. Well, forget it. I've grown rather fond of Vice. Vice. 
I knew you'd come around. Don't let it go to your head now. this cookie don't worry about it Yona I'm already full this again that's what you said yesterday you haven't been eating anything lately <sighs> come on at least take half thanks sister's body holds up <sighs> kind of hard to move when you're just ahead I wonder where everybody is I can't wait to see them again but before that can happen there's some stuff I gotta do first like finding a body or at least some legs I sure hope Kaine and Vice haven't killed each other yet I swear, you leave him alone for one minute, 